welcome to another video uh, where I'm gonna discuss wireless integration with Restaurant. We're gonna continue where we left off in the, in the last video. Uh, we talked about IR integration and uh, how we can save and recall commands from a text file on a Restaurant processor. And uh, now as you can see on the main module, we do have uh, a TX line directly to inject commands to these uh, NHD 400 and 600 units. Now, the RS-232 port that we're going to talk about firstly uh, exists only on the receiving parts of, uh, I mean, receivers of the uh, NHD 400 series, while the 600 series has both on the uh, receivers and transmitters. And uh, the way to control it is actually quite, quite easy. It's uh, very similar to what we did last time. Uh, we just send commands directly uh, to the NHD controller. Wirestorm controller and uh, what I did is create just a simple module uh, for sending these commands and to, for arranging basically commands in order uh, or arranging a string in order so to speak and uh, what uh, else I did is just for convenience created these parameters that uh, that basically give you a nice little selection of baud rate uh, data bits parity and then many other settings that uh, that in that case you don't have to manually input uh, every time you want to send a string. So all you need, all you need to do is set up uh, the serial parameters and once you do add an alias uh, name to which you will send this command, uh, input your command and uh, once you do that the module will just uh, internally, uh, you'll see that there is just one single command I make string and uh, I arrange it in order so once you add in your command and you uh, press uh, basically uh, any of these uh, push any of these digital signals high it will just forward that command directly to the main module and uh, in turn forward it to the control module of wirestorm now we're going to see it live here in uh, toolbox uh, let me just load it up there we go uh, and uh, let's connect all right there's the response so now if we clear this window and just send the command you will see that the uh, that you will get a response from the uh, from the control module of wirestorm telling you that the serial command is received so everything went in order and uh, there we go let me press the second command and it also confirms it now the next thing that we're gonna do is just show it live. Uh, I did use a USB to serial converter and uh, connected my laptop to the serial port of the uh, 400 series receiver just to see in, uh, in a program called Kapati what exactly we are receiving every time we send a command. And you'll see that uh, uh, there we go, this is our command that we're sending. We're sending hello world basically, and you can see it being received on the Putty software. So it's it's all very very straightforward and uh, if you would like to actually uh, receive let's say or parse some information from the device that's also possible you will need to just create uh, appropriate let's say parsing module. Uh, now in addition to that there is plenty of other commands that uh, that Wirestorm offers and that goes from CC, P controls, you can turn them on or off uh, by just sending uh, to the specific alias and also you can uh, switch matrix audio and video separately or together and the commands are very very straightforward. Now another interesting aspect of uh, Wirestorm itself is that it can do uh, video wall configurations and they, uh, they are very very easy as well uh, all you need to do is well as you can see create a video wall and uh, once you create it uh, you obviously mention how many quadrants you like if it's in this case it's a two by two video wall and uh, once you do that you need to add the uh, receivers to that video wall by specifying which quadrant they'll belong to and which source uh, they will display once you do that, uh, you can then 
send also directly to the video wall uh, source let's say so you don't have to send individually to, to every box you can send a video source to the video wall and it will uh, in the, it will basically switch between them if uh, for some reason the video stream uh, would be interrupted so I'll unplug it now just for you to see uh, it will go dark after a while and it will show the default Wirestorm background where in my case uh, I uploaded a custom image uh, this gives you basically a opportunity to upload your custom message uh, or a logo of the integrator uh, just so that the end user can uh, easily maybe troubleshoot initially if the video doesn't come in or maybe even contact the integrator in case of a problem uh, last thing that I'll mention is uh, the Wirestorm management suite with which you can search all of their devices on the uh, video distribution network and it enables you to deploy the entire project very quickly with their uh, batch commands from assigning a range of IP addresses uh, for all of your devices uh, configuring EDID or maybe sending a protocol directly to the specific device receiver or transmitter uh, just for testing it's uh, it's quite useful and it allows you to really go through the through the setup and configuration very very quickly uh, with that we reached basically the end of the line for this video uh, you can find the program i used uh, with all the modules and the unique question on yahoo group and in the description below you can find the links to the wirestorm network hd api uh, tools that i used to create this video as well as uh, techno access youtube channel that offers great really great royalty free uh, chipto music for all of you retro geeks i'd like to thank you for for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one.